Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this Monday, the 20th of November. Can't believe it. Just about to wrap up uh, my, uh, the month of November. Well, at least we've got Thanksgiving coming up. We've got Dow up 81 at 35,031. Just a hair away from the 35,052 that starts leg, D, leg C. Oh, let me just show you this for some of you that it might be new uh, to my methodology. Uh, here we go. It's a real simple. <clears throat> I try to identify the lowest low bar and count each successively higher peak. A peak is made. Look, this becomes a floating letter until it forms a little a v, inverted V, right? That becomes a peak. That becomes A. Usually it's gray, then it pulls back. If it doesn't take out that starting point, it continues up. It goes from a bicycle, maybe it gets upgraded to a buy mode in B or after B. But that says one penny above that peak A starts leg B until it makes a peak. Then it becomes peak B. One penny above B goes to leg C. And in my methodology, you can go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's seven higher peaks, but it's the fourth highest peak, peak D. <clears throat> Where other things can happen. That's the objective, is to get to the um, um, fourth highest peak and then reassess. Uh, within that context, you can see right here that if we go one penny above, well, it'll be one penny above 35,051 point, whatever it was, and that starts a leg C. <clears throat> now, within that context, look at this. The weekly chart is going to peak a very sharp pullback. This is called a gray A, but the moment it, it should, but if it doesn't, well, I don't know. But in the meantime, there's a real good chance of 35,500, uh, right there, 30, 30, 35,679. Hmm, is that right? Yes, yeah, 679. One penny above that starts your new leg up, and that says if it continues here, it's an A. If it goes one penny above, it becomes an F I, because it didn't take out the starting point of this from the uh, October low. This is a weekly chart because it didn't take that out at 28,660. This remains in place and therefore I have to consider that it's an F continuation or a brand new A. F says, oh, be a little careful. A says, are you kidding? Every single pullback should be bought. So we don't have to deal with that right now. Let's get the daily because the daily needs the weekly. Weekly needs the monthly. Look at the monthly. Really gone sideways with higher highs and higher lows, slightly higher highs, higher lows. And there's a real good chance that that 36,952 will become a target the moment we take out this high that was right here. Was that the 30? Yeah, that was it. That was the 35,000. Um, 679 level. All right. So within that context, we're looking at a positive market. Looking at the S&P, do the same thing again. S&P is, is in leg C already. Now, I need to talk about this. I, I, I said to subscribers in my hour-long overview over the weekend, I do this almost like a little webinar I give every single weekend for subscribers. <clears throat> How high this leg C goes is going to be really important because after a spectacular move like this, let me just go back to the Dow because it's a little bit more applicable to the Dow right now. If after a spectacular move from 32,827 um, to 35,051, if you take a few days to digest and then you break to the upside, but if you only go slightly higher and then you pull back and peak C is deeper than the trough of B, then you've got to be careful. Then what you're saying is now the upside is limited. We could get to a D and then stall, have a sideways consolidation or maybe a slightly deeper pullback, but not that deep, but deeper than you would if you had to make high highs, very much higher highs now. That would be important. So the S&P is doing that right now. It's in the process of getting nicely above the high that was made at 452. It's trading at 4, I'm sorry, 45. 
21. Now it's at 45.28. So it started to push away. It's still a little close, but you are out of the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. If it's a, propeller, a propellant to the one to one to the upside, that really projects way to the 46.07 last high that was made in July. Let's go one step at a time. So this here is very, the, the unbalanced one, the blue line, very overbought. The MACD is very good. Stochastic's fabulous at 97.07. It's almost at 100%. I mean, that's great. It does say that at some point you've got to expect that you're going to go from the high 90s to the 70s or the 60s. You've got to be prepared for that. It doesn't say when. That's a different uh, story altogether. The 9 is way above the 14, and the 14 is the price is way above the 9. Look at the QQQ. This is the index 100 trading vehicle in leg C as we speak in the daily. But here's the issue. What's the wave count now in the uh, weekly chart? Well, now what I have to do is I had a gray A. Gray because it was under the previous high. Now what I have to do is make it a blue E. Whoops, type it incorrectly. There we go. A blue E. And I can keep it as a blue A, it doesn't matter. But the fact is, I have an alternate count. Now I'm waiting for the MACD. The, the week has just barely started, so the MACD at this moment is just turning positive. Well, it's at zero, zero. So it hasn't really, it hasn't given me a clue yet. Actually, I need to move this to the side here. Yeah, it's a zero, zero. So it hasn't, it, it's Monday. <laughs> We've got all the way through to Friday, even though the holiday is on Thursday. And I think, I'm not sure if there's a half session on Friday or a full session. But anyway, there is a session. I think we'll close on Friday. Now, what we're looking at here is the MACD is about to turn. The 9 is over the 14, and the price is way over the 9. That is really positive. Stochastic's finally got a big move up to 77%. The on-balance volume's a tad overboard, just like it is in the daily. But that just means it can have a bit of a pullback. It doesn't say, oh, my God, now you've got to sell everything. No, it just says you've got to be, hold on. But what's really important, we've got the falling axe formation. Oh, another technique. Here we go. Falling axis where you go up sharply, start to make lower highs and much lower lows. Then all of a sudden, the price finds support and turns around, makes like a V-shape or a cup-shape formation, takes out the falling axe, the expanding cone, the expanding declining cone, downtrend line. And then you can go to the each high on the left side if it's a cup formation. Uh, you wait to see if you're able to take out the high over there, the very the, the, the flagpole high. So in this case, we've done everything right. It's A, now it's started a gray leg B. Why is it a gray leg B? Well, first of all, we went to a G in the QQQ. There's never an H. So that says you have to find a new a new count. Secondly, there's a Chapman Wave instant restart. So yes, there could be a G slash C here. You can have an alternate count. But the slide from 408 in, in November of 2021 to the lower October of 2022 of 254. There's no question about it. everything. It looks like that it has to be called a brand new buy mode in P at leg, in leg B, and that there should be higher prices to come uh, going into 2024 in the QQQs. Actually, it says about all of them, but uh, this one is confirmed. Now let's go to the IWM. Uh, IWM. They managed to save the day from the 160. If it took out the 160 level, it's making an arch formation. This is good action, not great. So it's doing okay. I want you just as we go to the break, I want to go to the semiconductors to say, look, that monthly chart is a brand new leg C. Monthly chart is E slash A. Um, and the daily chart is leg C. So far, everything's positive. I'll be back. Dow's up 79. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, yeah, I was just asked if I could show the, uh, my uh, charts with the channel wave notation for the E-mini. Yeah, this is the S&P E-mini. This is a December contract. There was a beautiful cup formation. It went to D. Remember, we're always looking at Ds. A C1, C2 is equivalent to a D. And I've got an alternate count here because there's a lot going on. I'm not sure yet. This is actually a leg B, even though all the technicals are pretty good. Um, I'm watching this very closely. It seems to me that uh, there's a little struggle going on here. And um, I would look at this scans if I just need to do this. Give me a second. Yeah. So what I'm looking at here is if, you see the nine period moving average, we don't know because it just for the first time it's gone S uh, since it crossed positive back at about 9.30 this morning. If this does turn out, then this whole area here of 45.36, well, it's at 45.39, will become important. And then there could be a touch of the 200 period moving average where it took off from uh, back at 9.30. And that would be at 95.31. If it does get down to that level, um, what I would be looking at is what's happening to certain key stocks. And I'll, I'll get to them in a moment. But in the meantime, uh, this does look to me like it's about to pull back. And um, But it won't do anything because if, it, if the S turns back to um, green, to a B, um, or an L for long, it just says it's stuck in a rectangle formation. It can stay that way for a little while. So uh, there is, a, as long as there isn't bad news, remember I have this thing about the Dow, I, I, I talk about it all the time, where if there is uh, really, if, in other words, if the yields start to uh, accelerate higher or if the, um, the yields start to accelerate higher or if the conflagration in the Middle East really flares up and we actually start to see gold really start to soar, uh, then we're looking at a situation where this, what I call dark news cloud cover, 
uh, imperative. It means that as long as something there is worrying the market, if all the time there's a there's a worry, but if it's something that the market actually perceives as negative, so it goes down sharply, then you've got to look at. I don't see anything right at this moment. Um, it's more good news than bad news that the market's dealing with. So within that context, let's just get back to our story over here. So SMHs, as long as they're doing well in all-time highs, it's it's not necessarily a precursor to market action, but it's a very strong hint because a lot of the time where the SMHs go, the semiconductors, remember I call them the oil of the 20th century. Everything has chips, not potato chips, but regular uh, you know, semiconductor chips. And um, also oil. So there's a combination there. All right. With that said, let me just get back. Oh, sorry, I had a bunch of questions come in. Just the TLT, what do I think? TLT, look, if I was convinced that yields are going to come tumbling down, I would have been looking at the TLT in the, instead of being at 89 right now and kind of stalling. Yes, I had a question about, is this a chapter of instant restart? I'll talk about that in a moment. What I wanted to say is for yields to, to really delineate and say, hey, we have, we have now changed course. The tide has changed. We are, in fact, going to go down and go down sharply. I would need to see a lot more. And within that context, uh, a lot more essentially uh, basic, you know, a lot more basically says, within the context of uh, within the context of the, all the things that you look at, you need you want yields to be coming down. The XL. Let me just move this over here. The XLF, which is the S and P Financial uh, Index XLF, or it is fund, um, is holding really well. So I, I I'm just thinking that yields. Or at least stabilizing. I think that's really the picture. Now, to say they're going to go down sharply, yeah, but I need that proof. So, just uh, so you can see the XLF holding really well right now at 35.01, well off the 31s low that it was at recently. Now, if you go back to the TLT, yes, in the Chavery methodology, within three bars, if there's a new recovery high, you get a leg E to the upside. At that point, I usually call it E slash A, just maybe I don't even type it, I just see in my mind say it's E slash A, if it goes high, it goes F slash B, next one is G slash C, and that usually goes to a D. But this Chapman Wave Instant Restart very often gives you a clue that, in fact, you're going to a whole new buy mode with another four higher peaks. I go one step at a time and I just say, this is positive, but until we get to this really important candle, the candle of uh, the 22nd of September, that is at 91.61 high and 90.67 low. Until we really get there, I'm just saying, yeah, it's acting quite well. And you can see the weekly chart. Look, the 9 is way under the 14. It's a big problem. All right. With that said, a couple of things I want to look at here is um, PLTR. I had a question, what leg is it in? PLTR is Palantir Technologies, Diverse Data Fusion Platforms. I always like to say that, not really knowing what the fusion part means, um, other than that it's probably a mix of different things. And here it is. Look, the weekly chart is really in a leg D to the upside. That was a leg F at 20.24 in August. Week of the fourth comes plunging down and makes a cup formation, goes back up, and it's already in leg D. That's a leg C in the monthly, and it's a leg C in the um, – in the daily chart, acting really well, and it hasn't even thought of filling in the gap over that. That's what I always tell you. Just don't fixate on gaps. When they come into focus, start fixating, fixating on them. Like a 200 period, would I even talk about 200 period moving average down yet 14? Why? I've got these to worry about, the 9, the 14, and the 50. So this is just a, it's a work in progress. Okay, with that said, what I wanted to show you is this. Um, so the question came in. You had spoken uh, over the weekend. Oh, and first of all, Gigi, thank you so much for all that information on the EVs that uh, Zhang Wu, uh, what is it? Zhang Zhu, Zhang Zhu. I can't remember that Chinese city where they're having the EV. Um, they have all these EVs, uh, 57 EVs uh, for show. We used to have the Boston uh, Auto Show here in Boston. 
We haven't had it for years. I wish they would have it again. It would be great to see. And I've been talking about this for some time, and I don't know if it's going to be accurate, but I think we're getting into a new phase here where the looks that design, like the 1950s design, becomes absolutely fantastic uh, for automobiles, especially with the electric cars coming up. It's going to be quite exciting. So with that said, um, I just wanted to show you Tesla. See, now Tesla is very interesting. Tesla's kind of stuck here. It's gone to a leg B, and now it's now in peak B, way above the 200 period moving average of the weekly. But that 200 period moving average of the daily says it's kind of stuck like a yo yo, up and down, up and down uh, from the 230 level. Now, the other thing that I've been looking, thinking about over the weekend is you know, you have to wonder why um, Elon, Elon Musk, maybe because he's one of the richest people in the world, or the richest person in the world, we don't really know, because we don't know what some of the other countries, the leaders there, have, when they've siphoned off all the, the money. Um, so I'm looking at this and saying, you know, within the context of, um, within the context of your products, why would you, why would you open your mouth? Just step back, you can have opinions, but don't, I mean, don't, don't, cause this kind of friction and it's showing up in your stock, Tesla. I mean, it's certain for some people are going to say, you know, I'm done with Tesla. If it's related to Musk, I'm done. And some people will say, hey, I love what he's saying. But I think the majority of people are going to say, gee, this is... I'm driving Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So someone said, yeah, I have no idea how you come up with socks making an all-time high. 
I mean, I'm showing you the SOX index. It came out back in 1994, I think it was. And the high that was made in 2000 was at, in March of 2000. Remember, the Dow made its high in January and the S&P and the S semis made their highs in uh, March. Um, yeah, that was at 1,362.10. And here I'd say that the last high, oh, wait a minute, you might be right. It was 4,068 4, in January of 2022. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you are correct because the SMHs went to a higher high. Oh, very interesting. You're absolutely correct. The um, Sox did not make it a new all-time high, but the SMHs did. I thought I said that. I said the SMHs. I didn't know that. I didn't actually check on the Sox. So correct. Thank you for that correction. Um, and it's very interesting because when you get a diversion like that, um, I, I'll talk about that just for a minute. There was a period over the decades where lows were made in the S&P and the, and the semiconductors, and six months later, one of them made a low and the other didn't. The other one was already usually was the semis were already on their way up. So it's just fascinating to me. That is also that rotation. The other thing is that um, that was a six months. That's what I call a huge internal low and, and, and then a residual low. All right. So with that said, there is a new all-time all high in the SMHs, not the SOX index, which is the core. This is the uh, derivative. This is the ETF, the next semiconductor ETF. Next question I had was, where did it go? Where did it go? Yeah. So could you just, you had spoken about... Um, your kind of benchmarks that you look at, like URI, which is the uh, rental United Rental Inc., doing very well. It's at a peak C in the daily, a peak C in the weekly. It hasn't gone back to that previous high, all-time high. I believe this is an all-time high at 500. Uh, was it under? Uh, yeah, 492.22, 40, 492.33, a two-bar reversal. At an F slash C, I think that's a C, and it's going to go to a D coming up in this Chapman Wave inside track repellent line. So this zone that I'm talking about right now, whoops, I didn't mean to hit that. Stand right now. Yeah, you see this? Uh, it means that, make it pink. It means the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone uh, could see a new high and then it sort of stalls. Now, let me just talk about market conditions for a moment because you've got URI, which is the United Rentals. You've got CTAS, which is the Sintas Corporation Overalls Uniforms Rentals. And as we speak, just off an all-time high, which it made on Thursday at a peak C, <laughs> there's only a peak C, so it should go higher. Uh, it broke that resistance level. I'm calling this, it can't be a G, so this has to be a brand new leg B in the in the weekly chart. That's a big, big positive. And look at this, a leg E in the monthly chart. It could even recycle, it could be anything right now, but it, I'm writing it in as an E. Um, fabulous. This is overalls, uniforms, rentals. So the, so the economy is way better if you're looking at areas like hospitality or anything where your uniforms or even... Um, Sintas, I saw recently in the whole cleansing area, like the uh, washing hands and all that. So this is a very, very important area. What was the other one? Oh, Caterpillar, just to be in, in, in the large cyclical, had a very good move up to the high that was made in July at about 290-something, plummets down to the 220s, and now it's kind of stuck at 250, as is a leg, a leg C in the daily chart. But it is close. It's making higher highs and higher lows. And this is telling me together with PAVE, which is the uh, ETF, the Global X U.S. Infrastructure ET and Development ETF, it almost looks the same. Look, peak C in the, in the monthly chart, very sharp pullback. It's almost a chapter way falling axe formation here. It's a little unusual when you get these double tops. When you take your trend line, I would love to take it from there all the way down, but I can't. So I'm going to take it from here into the high of the candle right there, not not the wick. Okay, so I'm going to do this right now. Just say there's a lot of work to be done in Caterpillar to break to the upside. Um, 
if I'm using this as trend line resistance. But once it gets to 30, I'm uh, sorry, pave, that is, pave. Once it gets to 32, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to make a new uh, all time. I believe this is an all time high, which will be at 32, 30, uh, 32, 39 was the high, so 32, 40 becomes leg, uh, monthly leg D. So a lot, look, it's, it's making higher highs. So this is really important. And that's the reason why I said to subscribers that we, we want to be buying, want to be adding to positions. Um, but at the same time, we still want to be a bit careful. We still want to have stops in place because each stock is doing um, its own thing. And that's a really important phase in markets to identify that not everything in a sector goes up at the same time. So here's another question that came in. Could I look at, uh, oh, did I write that? Alternate count. Oh, that's right. Could I look at it? There it is. Um, you are, I spoke about this just as we were closing out on Friday. You are an M, which is the uranium spot, uranium miners ETF uranium. So this is a leg E with a little doji candle forming today above the previous high. It's done everything that you would want. I drew this in as, a, as a, an example for, the, for our uh, uranium position. But you want to see that the core, the uranium ETF itself, URNM, is doing its job. Well, it just broke to a new recovery high, not an all-time high, recovery high, past that PT. Remember, D is where other things can happen. That's where you can sometimes get your biggest pullback. Well, at 49.53, back on the 29th of, of September, you made that PT and it plummeted all the way to 41. I, I would say that, you know, it's a 20% decline. But then it went peak A, B, C, D, and now it's in leg E with a little doji candle with the night period moving average very strong. The MACD strong stochastic at 88% on balance volume says, just be careful here. It's a little bit overbought, and the monthly chart is still improving, still very strong. A cup formation there as well. Big question will be, and I, I'm going to do this in now, and we'll put it in and see what happens over a period of time. Oh, over the past... Right now it's two years. I've been saying that the, the weekly and monthly charts, so many of them, especially monthly charts, had a Chapman Wave instant restart. That's just within three bars if it makes a new leg above D. Um, that eventually turned out to be useful because we had alternate counts. So this is an E, but it could have an alternate count E slash A, right? So I'll put that in because it's all very important. This then becomes the starting point, and that's an A, a gray A, and this is a new high. So that becomes F slash B. Does it mean, oh, you're not sure? No, it means everything is positive. There's no question that this could certainly turn into a B, but I've got to be prepared that with this little potential double top, that there could be a bit of a pullback. Yes, so it's fine. I keep the alternate count, but look at the monthly chart. This is a big look. That, that is the weekly chart you're looking at. This is a monthly chart with a double top pattern. I'll talk about that when we return because as patterns go, this is really interesting. I'll be back. That was a chapter. That was a 77. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I was asked if I would just explain the cup formation. So this is the cup formation right here. Now this would be the natural fulcrum, the plumb line at the bottom that says the number of bars on the left that go down should equal the number of bars on the right. You can see it's lopsided. So if you started doing this here, there's no use making that the the plumb, uh, the plumb line, the the midpoint, uh, because you, you're already there. I mean, you and you haven't made it back to the high in the 49s. So then I use the next, I use either a particular candle. <coughs> I've got webinars on this in my uh, news. If you uh, subscribe to my news, there are umpteen um, webinars they can go to, and each one describes a different thing. The left side, right side, how you choose that, how you get the cup formation, how you get the chat wave inside wedge target resistance line. And that just said that if this occurred the way I've, I've, I've drawn it in, that by today it should hit the 49. 40, 53 high of the 29th of September, and it's done that. But I also then say, well, now you've got to look at your technicals. You don't want to say, oh, it hit it now. Oh, well, that's no, it's not a problem. It's a, something to monitor. But so the candle, the day is young, but it looks like it's a doji candle right now. A doji candle could become a halfway marker or a reversal point. So in this particular uh, uh, point, uh, you've got the MACD good, the 9 over the 14. The MACD is not as good as it was before, but it's rising. The stochastic's fabulous. It's 88. And the, nine, and the on little blue line on balance volume is a little bit overbought. And this gray line, the relative strength at about 60, maybe 61%, is very good. So all of this is great. Now there's a chance of a double top. You've got to be prepared for that. But how it breaks out above this and then closes above it is going to be very important. So the weekly chart... This is a small time frame of this cup formation. It's gone above the left side high, but the week has only just begun. We're an hour and a quarter into the week, so you can't talk about it as if it's closed. Then you go to this uranium. We're looking at uranium sprot, uranium minus. So I just wanted to do a little tell. This is usually what I do on a Saturday, on a Friday, so I didn't have a chance. So here you're looking at the monthly chart. So the monthly chart says, where would I, where would I try to... Uh, find a midpoint because it doesn't look obvious from this low well then i move from the high and i just grab the bar and i go sideways and i say okay in this particular instance this particular candle right here this indecisive candle but that just takes you to where we are this month so if i did it that's really aggressive but i don't mind starting it off then saying hey if you miss you miss i'm not you're the chart i'm just a, a chartist so it says this is the month 
and it's kind of aggressive. And then I say, if I was to confirm it, what technique would I use? Well, I would use the chapter wave inside wedge target repellent line. I'd go to a particular uh, candle, a particular trough or high or candle, and I'd say, okay, that's what I'd be looking at. Well, it kind of fits for now, so I'll keep it. If it misses, it misses. We'll have to choose something else. And it just says, in the month of November, we really haven't got very many days left. How many days do we have? Today's the 20th. <clears throat> we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight days is plenty um, to get close to that level. Yeah, in fact, look, today's high is 49.984. And the high that we're talking about is <clears throat> 52. We could do it. We'll see. All right, so I've drawn this in. Always make it a dashed line because it's a subsidiary line. Doesn't have to take the importance of a solid line. And there it is. Okay. And that just says that sometime the uh, 52 level, sometime this month we might touch 52. And that's what I like to wear support. Nine period moving average of 47.51, 14 period moving average of 46.99. That's where I would start. All right. Next thing I was asked about is could I go to, where was it? Um, TW. Uh, what is the question? Dude asks, good morning, Basil. Your thoughts on TW would be appreciated. Is that uh, uh, TW is trade? Yeah, I can't even get to read. Oh, there it is. So let me go to this chart right here and squeeze uh, trade web. Okay, trade web <laughs> marketing. What happens is they have it on this kind of dark gray background and then they put the black print fine print. So what do I do? First of all, remember the double task we're looking at. So this says that the high in the monthly chart of the December of 2021, uh, 102.33, 102.33. I'll just put that in now so I don't have to waste time. 102.33. And the low that was made, not the most recent low, but the low that was made in October of 52 was 51.47. All right, so I've got those numbers. There's a good cut in half, 51.47, having a fabulous move. So I don't know what this, this if this was an earnings candle, I'm just going to guess from the candle what it is. A, B, C. Remember, identify, always check to the left whether this is the nearest low, um, or most obvious low that you can use for a starting point. A, B, C, D stalls looking ugly over here and almost a dreaded H pattern. And suddenly it goes from 82 or so, screams up to almost 90 in one day. That's good. And then what happens is it gives back a little bit, a very little bit, and then it starts to move even higher. So normally what I would do is I'd go, I, look, yes, the chapter made instant restart. One, two, three bars. So I go E. Looks a little messy. I'm sorry to do that. E slash A. F slash B. It's going to get even messier. G slash C. And you remember, what's my rule of thumb? That invariably with the G slash C, and especially in a strong move up, it'll pull back and then it'll go to a D. And that's where you've got to be careful. Well, the high that was made on the 14th is a TW. Uh, what did I say? It was trade web market um, I'm thinking it's a platform for trading obviously or some kind of trading so it went to 93.93 on the 14th it pulled back quite sharply to the 90s and then it goes today to 94.03 <coughs> yeah you've got your D it just says on a very short you didn't tell me uh, whether you're long short going, wanting to go to it I, I'm suspecting that it's on your list and that it, you might be in it already. If you are, I'd like to, it'll be nice to know. Uh, dude, let me just see, maybe you've typed in something. Um, yeah. um, all right, so maybe, maybe you're listening, but you haven't typed it in. So this is what I would do. If you're not in it, I love the action. And I love the action because, look, going to the lowest low in the weekly chart, Big A, big B. This is how simple the technique is. See, it's when you get to D that other things can happen. Well, lo and behold, D, it goes to E, pulls back sharply, so it's a brand new A, B, and we're in C right now. 
So I like this very much. My my eye says at 93, it wants to go nine points higher over the next few, um, let's, let's call it a month and a half, maybe two months. Could be quicker, but I don't think, I, I, I don't know, because we have to see how it digests these gains. Could go sideways just for a little bit. We saw that in the E-mini just a moment ago. Look, we went in the E-mini, you made a high, and then you just went sideways with one quick pullback, and now you're back above where you were. So now you actually have. So now you see the reason why I said alternate count in the 10-minute chart, because now it's in F slash C, and everything about it says, um, I think it's actually an F. Uh, sorry, I, I, think, I think it's a C. But you don't have to make those decisions because you've got your 10 and 1-minute charts to be uh, thinking about. That's the same as what you're looking at in this particular instance with TW. We've got the daily chart acting really well, the weekly chart acting well. Only thing is, um, what happens next? So I'll, I'll talk about that when we return. I like the chart very much. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Yeah, so actually the question was, I'd like to get in. So TW, I like it very much. You're buying at a recovery high, a month, a month a, actually a two-year high or a year and a half high. I like it, and I don't know any other way than to say, look, tiptoe in, right here, 93.59, but I would prepare to buy it in a slightly greater volume if it could pull back and hold. I might have to wait to see. So start your position here, 93.59, say, say, hey, uh, this is not the position. This is just a starter position because it could go higher, then come back and retest it and even go a little lower. 
Howard Hall's law of the 15th of November of 19.52 is absolutely imperative. If it takes it out, it says, okay, be careful because you can go down to the 88, 89 area. I like it a lot, but it is still acting very well, and it could go a tad higher before it does the digestive phase. So let's look at it again. In fact, I'll make a note of it, and I'll put TW either Tuesday or Wednesday. We're going to have a look at it again. But this is where you want to get your foot in the water. I prefer if you could buy options on it. I'd buy a 92 or in the money, a 92.50 or something like that option for. I'd even go out to uh, uh, December. Probably I'd even go out to January, December or January. But you, you didn't ask me that. So yes, I like it tiptoe in, but that's not your real position. That's just to get a feel for it. Next question was, could I look at you, 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 you? which is in the uranium sector, one, two, one, two. There it is. One, two, one, two. Come on. Huh? There it is. Um, yes, it's acting very nicely. Um, I, I've got a target on this of $9. Is it 854 um, As I said before, this is an A. This is an alternate count. This is an E. And a, the cup formation in the weekly chart, your energy fuels uranium. Oops. Oh, well, we've got a break coming up. Oh, this is the end of the show. Um, there was one more that you looked at, and now I can't find it. But yes, they're acting very nicely. And yes, Ravel wrote uh, his Valera on a train trip, I believe, and uh, it was a great success and was for a battle. So great, great action. I didn't talk about Microsoft. Tomorrow we'll talk about Microsoft. I want to see who closes the day. 